Hello and welcome back to the Novice Lumberjack, where me being me, I couldn't help but try and put forth some sort of effort. And I started building a Husqvarna 55 to compete in the Horizontal Hustle. Now, I still am going to stick to my little rule that I um, am not going to truly take place in the challenge. Um, this is for other people to win money, not me. So if I, by some chance, make the fastest Husqvarna 55, I am not allowed to win it. So, you know, the second place guy would get the the winnings. However, I am not doing, I'm, I'm just building something and I'm experimenting and playing around. So let me show you what we got. All right, so this is a... Uh, 028 Super Piston. I imagine there'll be a few people in the competition using this setup. Um, it is, uh, it's got quite a taller uh, dome on it. You know, there's a taller piston and it has a shorter skirt, which means you have to do less intake work. And um, the, the, the taller piston really helps out for guys that can't machine uh, to, uh, to get more compression. All right. I am fully aware that this dome right here, this pop-up, might touch my um, uh, spark plug. If it does, I'll just take a little off the top right there. Not a problem. I am running a base gasket because, like I said, this is taller and you don't have to get rid of the base gasket. So let's look at the cylinder. Now you're about to see something. Hold on. All your questions will be answered. I uh, removed a little bit out of the squish there probably about 20,000, something like that. And now I have a 20,000 squish, all right? So with that piston installed, the numbers were 76.6 on the intake, 106.6 on the exhaust, 127.5 on the transfers, all right? Ported, all right? I'm at 80.4 on the intake, 96.5 on the exhaust, and 112 on the transfers. Now that 112 number, whoa, <laughs> that is really high transfers. Well, I got it, those little nubs sticking up there to the to the left, that's what you see, that's, that's your height of your transfers. So they will come on progressively, and, um, and the holes, now I, I know you're wanting to know about the holes, why did I drill all these holes in there? Well, I am going to now at this point, I got it all cleaned up. I got pretty much all of the um, Nicoseal or Chrome liner, what it, whatever it is they're using on these, off of there. We got nice, rough, clean aluminum, and we've got holes drilled in there. So what I'm going to do is these are going to be filled completely full of Marine Tex. I'm watching Cheers. He, that's still a great show. Anyways, I'm hoping that this Marine Tex is going to be a better option for me than the JB Weld. I like JB Weld a lot because it is liquid and you can pour it in and so it molds and fits better than you could possibly do whenever um, you have like an actual putty like, that's thick, right? Like the pig epoxy. Um, but whenever I pour it in, It'll ooze out those holes and then swell out so that we get, have a good grasp on the transfers and hopefully it doesn't fall out, right? Once I have it completely filled with uh, the Marine Tex, I'll let it dry, of course, and then I'll go back in and I will, um, I will route out um, my transfers the way that I want them. See, I think uh, you've got two big reasons why these things are not fast. Big reasons. Um, and that is, number one, the timing is way retarded on these things. Um, it's not actually retarded. It's just not advanced the way that it needs to be. So I will be advancing the timing on this. I'll probably shoot for 10 degrees of timing advance. And if you're out there and you're watching this and you're building your own Husqvarna 
55 and you're like, oh man, I only advanced mine by four degrees. I can tell you from past experience, you better turn that shit up <laughs> because they, they're, they're a farm saw. They're, they're meant for just a general purpose farm saw. They're not meant to be fast at all. So it's quite likely that there's not going to be any key left on that uh, flywheel. And I'll just have to set it and hope for the best, right? Um, so anyways, the timing is way, way, way retarded from where it should be, as well as you've got far too much volume, far too much volume in there, and you it, that kills all of your velocity. Now, could I be wrong? Of course I could. I'm wrong often. I just talk and sound like I'm not and know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this is an experiment. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the the transfers are going to be fed because I'll I'll close up the bottom probably com probably completely close up the bottom, um, and so the transfers will be completely fed through the windows of the O28 piston, right? And um, I know that this, in theory, will work because. See, yeah, this is a closed port setup. You're not feeding anything from the bottom. And these are known to be way better than the open port setup. So, um, yeah, we'll feed from the side into the transfers that I cut in the Marine Tex epoxy. Um, and now the Marine Tex, a little bit about that, um, it's been used... I know for a very long time with a high degree of success in uh, dirt bikes, four wheelers, that sort of thing. Now those are water cooled. Those are water cooled. They may not get nearly as hot as this air cooled chainsaw does. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, if it fails, hey, it fails. You know, uh, I am prepared for that, and that's fine. All I'm doing is having fun here, uh, seeing what I can come up with with this experimental Husqvarna 55 build. <clears throat> now, um, on the carburetor side of things, uh, they also have a little small carburetor that hinders flow. Their whole intake setup is hinders flow, and... I don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but I do aim to do something. I just don't know what it's going to be. And uh, But yeah, uh, more on that later, and there will be more videos. I, I don't know if I'm going to post this video where it is right now or not. Um, but uh, Oh, another thing, I've noticed that very few people seem to be running a pipe exhaust. Um, that's completely available in the rules. Um, you know, most people are just modifying the muffler, which is perfectly fine, and it's going to run fine. But, you know, I was kind of hoping to see some pipes, you know. But um, I've already got three here with me that will be competing. We have what I believe is actually a 50, right? It might be a 55. I don't know. But this is from Curtis. We have another 50 right here. I, I do know that this one's actually a 50. Actually, this is a, probably a 55 with just a 50 cover because of the choke setup. These uh, old 50s had a really goofy choke setup, and I don't believe he's even running one. So this one is uh, belongs to Jared Hoth. All right. And then third here. I don't know if you can read that. Barker Saw Shop, I believe is what it says. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read it. But anyways, yeah, this is from Garrett Barker. This is a saw that I sent to Garrett, right, that he built for this competition to give away. So this is just going to be a pretty standard, um, nice port job. So we got Garrett's saw. He, he is producing another one for this that he is actually legitimately trying to win with this one's just going to be a good solid build that'll be given away on the channel so we got jared's i'm sorry we got garrett's we got jared's and we got curtis's um a lot more people are making saws than i had originally thought would which is fantastic i think i'm looking at about 15 saws 
I got a few people out there that most of you guys that watch the channel wouldn't know who they are. Hell, I, I don't know who they are either. But um, uh, they're viewers of the channels and channel, and they just want to have fun and see what uh, they can come up with that works good. But other guys that you may know, um, Dino Joe says that he's building one, I believe. Joe likes to work or <laughs> likes to wait till the last minute, though. <laughs> he typically does. So high hopes for that, and he said that he'll um, put it on the dyno before he sends it so that we can, you know, just see. If his puts down four and a half horsepower and it's beating everything else, well, then we might be pretty fairly certain that nothing else is putting out four and a half horsepower, so or four horsepower, what I say. So anyways, we'll have a little bit of knowledge to play with there. Um uh, Matt House is building one. Last I saw, he was almost done. Uh, Ethan Trainer says he's building one. Uh, Dubs is building one. Smitty is building one. Um, who else? Super Dave is building one. Um, That's all this is right on the top of my head. But there's a lot more folks than that. And, oh, uh, um, Zach Powell is building one. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. Going to have a lot of good competition, good fun, and hopefully somebody will be able... To, oh, Brennan Cass is building one. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, so, hopefully we'll be able to get some money in somebody's pocket and a chainsaw for somebody else. And I might change that up and add a third prize uh, to somebody else besides the back rub from Soft Hand Steve. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, I, I've got plenty of saws here that I can give away to some of the higher, uh, better runs and everything. So I figured, you know what? Instead of giving away one saw, why don't I give away two? And... Uh, I think I think I, I'm pretty certain I will do that. So, anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. Wish me luck on my build, and who knows? Maybe the thing won't run at all. I don't know. But one thing's for certain, like the '96 roof, '96 point five. Mm, uh, that roof is really high for a little 50 cc saw with only a 32 millimeter stroke. However, if you can still build that compression up at the top, uh, they I've seen them firsthand. They rev to the moon. So that's, it's the race. We're going to rev, right? Um, hopefully it all works out and we all have a lot of fun. I got a big surprise. <laughs> you guys are going to love it <laughs> for the actual video for the hustle. I've hired a helper and... Um, um, you will like my helper. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now.